Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about Suspiria, the remake, directed by Luca Guadagnino, I think that's how you pronounce his name. <laughs> and uh, this movie is a remake of the 1977 version and I have that uh, reviewed on my channel already and I am a person who prefers this version far more than that original movie. And I think uh, this is uh, genuinely one of the best horror movies ever made. And, and every time I watch this movie, I'm always very affected by it, uh, especially from the editing choices to the performances to the music, all of it. It's just perfect. And I love every scene in this movie. And each scene in this movie is constantly building to something and and also every character in this movie serves a purpose in it and first uh, the movie opens up with uh, Chloe Grace Moretz and uh, she's uh, and she knows uh, certain things and she just uh, she doesn't feel safe or comfortable with anything around her and and then after that uh, the movie uh, kind of starts from there and we get introduced to, to uh, Susie, played by Dakota Johnson, and she's excellent in this movie, and I would say this is her best performance. <laughs> and then eventually she meets Sarah and every other character in this movie, and the movie slowly builds, and it does release, and there's some really, really horrifying things that happen in this movie, and it's probably the most terrifying things I've ever seen in a movie, especially the way it's presented. It's... Uh, I'm gonna bring up Saw for a second. So many people uh, view that film series as uh, just really torturous and bloody and disgusting, but I personally don't find any of it scary or really effective. Sometimes I find it hilariously bad because of the bad acting in those movies. But in this movie, everything is so well done and the acting is great and there's so much that is built up to, to leading these horrible scenes. It, there's not like horrible imagery every five seconds. It's more of just uh, things naturally happening and then eventually something crazy will happen and when something crazy does happen, it's... It's stuck in your brain and you just, you can't unsee what you just saw. And going back to uh, the discussing things and how much they affected me. What I really think I helped it a lot was the music. And there's uh, music in this movie that uh, have lyrics in them. And it doesn't hurt the movie at all. And I think it's uh, very fitting, especially with the tone of the film. And as the movie goes along, it just gets crazier and crazier, and it's just, uh, it, it grabs you and just doesn't let you go, and this movie is not afraid to get disgusting, or it's, or just show you things that you were, you would be uncomfortable watching, and this movie, it's restrained by nothing, and it just goes with it, and... I love the editing in this movie. I, I've already briefly mentioned the editing, but uh, the editing, you don't always, you might not notice it on a first viewing, but uh, re-watching it, I noticed uh, how much it helped the film out uh, with some quick cutting. I'm, I normally don't like quick cutting in movies, but uh, here it really worked, especially in some of the dancing scenes, or one, one of them that's sticking out in my mind. And... It's a quick cutting and the music is going by really quickly and it's supposed to imply like a really fast pace and I, I just I loved it and I thought it was really engaging and I'm trying my absolute best not to spoil this movie because you can easily spoil this movie for people and I'm doing my best not to spoil it but I'm also trying to say everything that I want to that happened in this movie and why it worked so well. I haven't even mentioned uh, Telda Swinton in this movie. She was excellent in this movie. She plays uh, three different characters in this movie without spoiling anything and she's excellent as all three of them. And each of the characters uh, that she plays, uh, they're all very interesting and I love the how everything is presented in this movie and the characters are interesting, there's a lot going on. This movie is kind of slow, but I never found it boring, which is a huge plus. 
especially since the movie is like two and a half hours long and it's a long movie not everyone is going to enjoy it and it's not a movie for everyone because it is kind of out there and disturbing but i think it is very effective and if i were to pick at anything that i would have a problem with it would be that there's some cgi blood in this movie that i didn't look, think looked very good all of that uh, cgi blood is in the third act that i noticed at least and it was in one scene and even uh, in, with that uh, blood that blood that doesn't look all that great it doesn't ruin the scene it's just the one thing that's not great and that's the only problem i have with this movie but the rest of the film is excellent and i would highly recommend that you check this movie out and this might be my favorite horror movie it's either this or the shining it's it's a tie between those two this one i think uh, affects me more on a personal level the shining while it doesn't affect me quite on the level as this movie does I think uh, The Shining is a little bit better simply because it's better put together is how I'm going to say it and I think The Shining might be the best horror movie ever whereas this one might be my favorite. But who knows, it could, that could change over time. And also uh, one other thing that I wanted to uh, mention is that whenever uh, something horrifying was happening my, my eyes were like peeled open like I couldn't blink <laughs> and it, I just uh, I couldn't take my eyes off the screen it was that effective and and i can't uh, praise this movie enough it it affects me so much and i will always be willing to rewatch this movie i could i could watch this movie right now and it, it would be a great experience <laughs> and with all that being said i'm going to give suspiria the remake a 10 out of 10 Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below at Youth of Suspiria, the remake down below, or which version do you prefer? Do you prefer the remake, the original, both, neither? <laughs> you don't like either of them? <laughs> I showed uh, the remake to, to my mom as she likes horror movies for the record, and she really does not like this movie. <laughs> I, I can understand people who don't like it at all. So tell me what you thought and uh, also, happy Halloween, everybody, because this, I'm posting this uh, video on Halloween, so happy Halloween. I hope I recommended some good horror movies for you to watch throughout the month of October, and I hope that you would enjoy at least some of the movies that I recommended. <laughs> but my social media links, they will all be in the description down below, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Bully Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for... Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, so look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching and have a great day!